Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we simply use one of the JavaScript. Right now, you can select it at a time. You can unselect it right here. How to do this work? I hope it's very clear. Now, in this video, I want to do, I want to store this data. That means when you install that Laravel Spidey package, as I told you, it's created some of the different type of table, right? And into this area, there is also another table as a role has permission. Now I want to open it here. You can see there is a two things will be needed. Our permission ID will be inserted and also our role ID will be inserted, right? Here I have already get both of these data that will be our role so that when you select it as a role, that is a role ID will be inserted and our when you select that multiple permission, then permission ID also will be stored. Okay, that will be stored in our particular that table as a role has permission table. Now I want to do, I want to store it. Let's do that work for doing this. We have to do in our add role permission page here. You can see that is also one of the form and that is everything is in here. I have already passed it our name, name as a permission. That is our input field name. Great. That is our group. And then I have also take it our role role as a role ID. Hmm, that's all. Now I want to create another new route. I name it as a e store. Okay, e store or role permission e store. Better I want to use it as a roles. Okay, that will be the role or um, then permission, permission e store. Now this type of one of the route I want to create. Okay, great. Now I want to create it. I want to simply go to our web route here. After that, I want to copy it and I paste it. Now that will be one of the post method. Here I want to name it as a role permission is stored. That is one of the post method. I want to update our route name will be as a role permission permission, right? You can see spelling mistakes. So that will be as a role permission, right? So there's a par me double s i o n permission, right? That will be as a role permission is stored. I want to use it as a role permission is stored. Our URL will be as a role and then the permission and is stored. And uh, that will be one of the post great and also I want to create another new method as a role permission store okay now this type of one of the method I want to create so I simply copy it and now that is one of the post I want to go to our um, same com our role controller so into the role controller I want to create another new method I name it as a public function method name will be as a role permission store and that is one of the post method here also you have to pass that our request and then the dollar request okay so right now from here we have to actually get that multiple data right here you can see for the reasons in our permission i pass it as an empty array so here i want to do i want to simply take one of the variable as a data and data i want to load on the array okay so that is our data array and then i want to take one of the variable as a permission permissions okay permissions permissions will be which one that will be our request requested field name our requested field name i name it here as a field name as a permission right so that is our permission i want to do and to simply take it great and now uh, we have to run as a for each loop it because of all here you may select it as a multiple permission right so that means one by one one of the for each loop will be executed and then that will be stored one by one all the data so that is the reason I want to do, I want to take one of the for each. So that will be the for each. Okay, I simply loaded that for each. And that is a for each will be started. Great. So into the for each area here, I want to do, I have already get that our requested all that permission, right? So that is actually our requested all that field. I take it, I take the things with this variable as a permissions. Now here with this permission, I make it as as key, sorry, as key. And then I name that will be I name it as an item. Okay, I name it as an item. Great. Now by this item one by one we have to take it. So now that is our data array. So into the data array area here we have to add that our field name. If you go to our database, now we have to store it in our role has permission table. That is on the field name as a role ID. I simply take it as a role ID. Okay, make that sure they have no space a role id will be which one here that will be our requested name right so that is our request request requested field name here also i pass it our requested field name for the role mm, here you can say name that as a role underscore id right so that will be our requested field name as a role id 
great and also i want to do the same things for our another field i will copy it and here i paste it and that is our another field as a permission id and permission id will be which one here i have already get all that our permissions right now we are already into the for each loop i take the things with this item now that will be our that is the our item multiple one all that our permission will be inserted okay now we have to do have to store it so that means i want to use it as a db I want to use the DB table. Oh, sorry, that is a table. Here I am not using that oh, you can't what I'm it because of all for this table. For this table that have no model. Right. So that is the reason here we have to run one of the query builders. So that is our DB table. DB table. I want to access our which table. I want to access that our role has um, permissions table. I simply copy it. Now into the table area. Here I want to do I want to insert okay that will be the insert insert will be our all the data that is our data array i take it with this variable and here it will be insert all the data i hope friend everything is very very much clear to you and also when you use it as a db make that sure here also you have to do have to use it so that will be the use and then db okay make that sure you load that db great 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 okay now i want to show some of the notification message where i copy it and now here i want to do after that for each you can see there is a for each is ended but i want to put some of the note for you that is our and for each okay after that and for each i want to do and to display some of the notification it will be displayed as a role okay role permission role permission added added successfully this type of one of the um, notification it will be display and then that will be written redirect to our another page we have to actually also create right now i make it as a return redirect to the back page okay literally we we'll, we have to do have to create another page for this mm, that's all now let's check this out it should be work if you know click as a save all okay click as a save all i want to run our optimize php addition optimize running successfully now that should be inserted let's check this out right now they have no permission no role i want to go there there is a permission we don't need it i want to refresh it right now and now here i want to do i want to assign that role role i use it as a manager so for the manager i want to do i want to assign some of the particular permission like he will be only able to access that our amenities menu amenities all amenities add and edit okay so that is all that our permission now i want to assign it for our manager role now let's check this out if you now click as a save changes now yes you can see there is a role permission added successfully and it's written redirect to the same page that means our back page right now let's check this out if you now go here if you now click as a browse yes you can see friend now that is our role id2 role id2 means if you go our role table and here you can see i have selected as a manager and for the manager id as a 2 right that means it successfully inserted our perfect role as a role id2 and i have actually inserted some of the permission for this permission i have inserted as a amenities like if you go here it's inserted as a 54 55 56 right if you go to that our permissions i want to better use it as a hundred now all that will be display you can see that is our amenities amenities menu as a 54 and that is amenities all have selected as a 55 56 and 57 right that means it successfully inserted great and also i want to check another one okay i want to check another one for like as a sales for the sales you only will be able to access that comment okay comment menu that is the permission and then category block category menu he'll be able to access it now let's check this out click as a save changes hmm inserted successful again i want to check it go there yes you can see right now that is our four id that is four id role id means that is a for the sales right great and that is our sales here i have used it as a 63 and 65 63 65 means you can see that is our category menu and that is our 65 means comments menu great 
So how to do this work, friend? I hope it's very, very much clear to you, right? So right now in our next video, I want to create one of the um, all role page. I want to actually get all the data and I want to visible it in our another page. Okay, so here that will be not redacted to the our back page. It will be load another list page. So how to do this work? Better want to continue this process in our next video. I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.